a non-profit organization, is changing the lives of students from low-income families in Norwalk, Connecticut. The George Washington Carver Community Center provides quality after-school programs for kids and teenagers who wouldn't have the opportunity to participate in such programs otherwise. Um, we are a strong believer that education is a great equalizer and with education that there's so much that uh, many of our, our, our young people can overcome. Our goal is to get kids to graduate uh, high school and enroll in college. I think the kids realize that everybody here is their advocate. The Carver tries to push everyone to, to better themselves, to be, to be the person they, they can be. The staff is composed of certified teachers, qualified tutors, and enthusiastic volunteers. It's a nice net to catch kids before they uh, fall behind. I really enjoy coming here and I love seeing the children's smiling faces. This is part of our life's mission, it's our purpose, is to be able to change people's lives. And when, when you've been able to discover what your purpose in life is, it makes you know, um, handling adversities, challenges so much easier because, and I always tell my students, follow your passion. The after-school program at the center focuses in three areas, education, recreation, and enrichment activities. Today, the program enrolls 695 students, or cover kids as they are called by the staff. It operates four days a week, three hours a day. I do my homework, I get a snack, and I go to the gym and play. And I really like the environment. It's, it's friendly, you know, we get homework help, and then we have like a lot of fun activities that we do. They also host a wide variety of events for their students, such as career fairs, book clubs, summer camps and field trips. Carver kids also use the center as a place to discuss important issues in their lives. For older students, this is done every Tuesday at the rep session. They said, okay, sir, we don't need you to do that, but he continued anyway. There, the kids are free to talk about any subjects that interests them, from personal concerns to major social issues. He hit him so hard, give him a concussion. Often, Students that came to the community center when they were young feel the desire to give back. Like high school senior Naeja Bolt. She was inspired by her teachers at the Carver Center and now takes part in their mission by tutoring the kids there. It's a wonderful experience. I have students where like, I see them struggle at first, but once they get help or one-on-one -on -one time, they're better readers, better writers. And that, that like, when they come in with their like, hey, I got 100, like, that touches me so, so much. But Naeja and the Carver Center hope that by making a positive difference in their students' lives today, they are also giving them a future. Oftentimes, you know, our kids are the first generation uh, of students to graduate high school um, or, and, and go off to college. Since 2005, all the seniors that passed through Carver's programs have graduated, and 95% of those students have enrolled in college. A big part of the work that the Carver Center does is in partnership with Norwalk Public Schools, like here in Brian McManum High School. Here, like, we have English teachers and math teachers, and like no matter where you go, someone's always going to be there to help you. Uh, for them to figure out who they are, what they're good at, and um, to get to kind of like see what they're interested in and pursue some of those things. The Carver Center tries to motivate its students to develop critical and analytical skills through participation in debates, discussions, and panels where they can express their personal points of view. These events are sometimes attended by a board of school officials who come to better understand the needs of the students. Teachers need to reach out to kids that are struggling. But the work done by the Carver Center is even broader. They are heavily immersed in the community of Norwalk. Their year-round schedule includes family day events, talent shows, and holiday parties. I think the Carver Center is probably the most wonderful place in Norwalk. I think it changes lives, I think it gives people the opportunity to change their own lives, opportunities they wouldn't have otherwise. With all the programs, activities and events the Carver Center promotes in Norwalk, the organization reaches approximately 5,000 kids throughout the year. Whether they are helping them improve grades at school, discover a hidden talent or arouse their interest in a variety of subjects, the center's ultimate goal is to prepare students for a new future. A future full of opportunities. Let it be a sweet, sweet sound. In Norwalk, Connecticut, this is Michelle de Sejar for New York Ahead. Okay.